scissors are the best tool. You can pull up the skin of the frog and get the scissors just underneath the skin and the layer of muscles and cut open that way. You can kind of look inside, you should see some organs. I'm going to cut all the way up. When you get to where the arms are, it's going to get kind of tough to, to cut because there's a sternum there, breastbone. So you hear it kind of crack. Then I'm going to go this way. Then I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to cut this way up by the mouth. And then I'm going to cut this way. And basically that means you can now open like a door. Now sometimes there's a lot of fluid in there. So I like to train in a little bit. And then you can pin back the skin so that you can have easier access to the organs. I'm going to use these pins to pin them back. So the first features you see in the frog is the largest organ here, which is the liver. Okay, the liver is actually divided into three sections. We have the right lobe of the liver, and it's always the frog's right. And then we have the left anterior and the left posterior. One way to remember that is to think there's only one right way to do something. Well, the frog only has one right lobe, but it has two lefts. This kind of triangular shaped structure above the liver is the heart. Now the heart often has this kind of spider web stuff on it. This is called the peritoneum. It might get in the way. But once you have that sort of peeled away, you can see the ventricle. There's one. And then the two atrium, the left atrium and the right atrium. At the top, again you have to peel away the peritoneum. There's a vessel that leaves the heart. That's the conus arteriosus. Now the liver. We raise the liver. Right over here we find a structure that kind of looks like a booger. That is your gallbladder. There. Kind of poofy. And then if we go to the other side of the liver, we see this curved structure, which is the stomach. Now the stomach has a pancreas kind of on the inside of the curve, but in a lot of frogs these, the pancreas doesn't preserve very well. I don't really see it on this frog. The stuff that's kind of yellowish is a fat body. Some, fats, some frogs are fatter than others. But this is kind of a skinny frog. We don't see any eggs, so my initial observation is this is probably a male frog, but we'll find out when we look for its testes. Now we're going to follow the stomach down. At the bottom of the stomach, there's a valve here called the pyloric sphincter valve, and then that connects with the small intestine. The first part of the small intestine is the duodenum. Then the curly part of the small intestine is the jejunum. And then the last part, going to the large intestine, is the ileum. There's your large intestine. And then at the very bottom of the large intestine where all of the food waste products and then eventually sperm and then eventually urine empty into this area called the cloaca, which go to the outside of the body. This little red organ right there is the spleen. All right, so now I'm going to kind of push this aside. I'm going to look for the kidneys, and if this is a male, we'll be able to find the kidneys and then potentially a little testy attached to them. So there's a kidney, and don't see a testy, so maybe this is a female that just is younger. Let's try the other side. And I do not see a testy on this side. So she doesn't have eggs but I'm gonna call this a female because normally a male will have a testy right there. And then these little curly cue structures that are around the kidney are the oviducts. Down here at the bottom of the frog, between there, you have this like kind of flappy structure. It's usually deflated, kind of like a balloon, but this is the bladder, the urinary bladder. Okay. Yeah, let's see what else we got in here. Fat bodies. Oh, lungs and heart, we did the heart. And if we pull all the way back here, we find some spongy structures, which are the lungs. There's a lung on that side. So that's kind of close to the heart. And a lung on this side, close to the heart. And that's pretty much all that's in the frog.